Anyway, for this video, I want to show you how to find the measure of a coterminal angle of least possible positive degree for the given angles. So some of these angles that I'm given are positive and some are negative. I'm going to do three total examples. And it's always good to draw out a picture to help you figure out where you're starting and then figure out what is the least possible positive degree angle that can be formed. So the first one that we have is 742 degrees. So you always start with your vertex on the origin and you start at the positive x axis. And then when it's positive, remember that we always rotate counterclockwise. So with 740 degrees, I'm going to take and I'm going to rotate and that's going to put me at 360 degrees. I have to continue rotating. And so if I rotate a second revolution, that puts me at 720 degrees. So I'm still not quite to the end, so I have to go a little bit further. So I'm going to go 742 minus 720 degrees. And that's going to put us at 22 degrees is going to be our stopping point. So we're going to go just a little bit further and that would be our stopping point of 22 degrees. So this would be our final answer. So we can see that after um, we've rotated twice around the circle, we have to go a little bit further at 22 degrees. So 22 degrees is the least possible positive coterminal angle of 742 degrees. Looking at the next one, negative 85 degrees. Remember when you're dealing with a negative angle, that means that we're going to rotate clockwise and it's gonna work backwards. So instead of the zero to 90 being in quadrant one, the zero to negative 90 would be in quadrant four. Um, anything from negative 90 to negative 180 would be in quadrant three. Negative 180 to negative 270 degrees would be in quadrant two, and then negative 270 to negative 360 would be in quadrant one. So we're gonna work backwards. So for this one, we're gonna start at the same place. We're still gonna start, whether you have a positive or a negative, you're always gonna start at the positive x-axis and put your um, vertex at the origin, and then Negative 85 degrees means that we're gonna rotate this way to almost 90 degrees. 85 degrees is almost 90 degrees, and that would be our stopping point. So this would be our negative 85 degrees. So we wanna figure out what is our positive angle of opening. So we're looking from here to here. How much did I open going counterclockwise? So we know that we went 270 degrees plus a little bit more. So what we can do is take the 360 degrees and add the negative 85 or just subtract 85. It's the same difference. And we see that that gives us 275 degrees. Or we could have just saw that the difference between the ne negative 90 and the negative 85 is five degrees. So I could have gone the 270 plus five degrees more would have also got me at the 275 degrees. So let's look at one more just to make sure that you understand. And so our last one, we are going to rotate negative 850 degrees. So again, because we are dealing with a negative angle, we do have to figure out how many revolutions or how many full rotations we need to get to the negative 850. So we're gonna start at the same place. We're always gonna start on the positive X axis unless it tells us um, otherwise. The standard position is always at the origin and the positive x-axis. And so then we're going to go clockwise and we're gonna go 360 degrees and then we're gonna go again around a second time so we know for sure that we're gonna to get to 720 degrees. And so then we could continue to add at the next, if I go 720 plus 90, that would give me 810. So I know that I'm gonna end up over in this quadrant somewhere. Um, the other option is you could do the three. We know that it's more than two revolutions, so three would be the largest above. We could do three times 360 degrees minus 850 degrees which ends up giving us 230 degrees. So after we've gone the full 720, we do have to go 
sorry, we're going to end up going over here. We're going to keep going. This would put us at negative 810. And so then we have to continue over here. And we're going to end up in this quadrant, in quadrant 3. Or we could have just done the 3 times 360 minus 850, which gives us 230. Um, and so that would be our positive angle from here to here. So we would go a total of 230 degrees in a positive manner would be our coterminal angle. There's multiple ways of getting to this. So I know that sometimes it's um, one of those things where you kind of have to figure out how many times you have to go around. We didn't go three full circles, so that's where the three came from. Two was the most that we could do. Um, so you could figure out which multiple is greater and multiply it by the 360 and subtract. That would give you a working answer. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.